In this video, we're going to take a look at a multiplication shortcut for, that's called a sum and a difference. To set this up, let's look at this first problem on the top left, a plus b times a minus b. Notice these are exactly the same, except for one has a plus and one has a minus. This is where we get the name sum and difference from. If we were to multiply these under normal circumstances using FOIL, we would have a times a, or a squared, a times negative b, or negative ab, b times a, or positive ab, and b times negative b, which is negative b squared. As we do this, an interesting thing happens every time. The middle two terms are opposites, and they're going to subtract out completely to 0, leaving us with just the a squared minus b squared for our final solution. You may notice, getting rid of these lines here, whoops, that's not going to work. I just erased them. You may notice we could have arrived at this answer quicker if we recognized this as a sum and a difference, where the factors are both the same, but one has a plus and one has a minus. If this is the case, we only need to multiply the first term by the first term, a times a is a squared, and the last term by the last term, b times negative b is negative b squared, and that would give us the same final solution. This shortcut works any time the factors appear to be the same, with the only exception being the sum and difference. In this second example, where we have x minus 5 times x plus 5, we notice this relationship. They're exactly the same, except one is a sum and one is a difference. Since this is the case, we can take a shortcut and only multiply the first two, x times x is x squared, and the last two, negative 5 times 5 is negative 25, and we have our solution. In this third example, we see the relationship again. 3x plus 7 times 3x minus 7. Both factors are exactly the same, except one has a plus, one has a minus. This is a sum and a difference. So we only have to multiply the first pair together, 3x times 3x, is 9x squared, and the last pair, 7 times negative 7, is negative 49, and we have our solution. Once more, when we have 2x minus 6y times 2x plus 6y, again, we notice the factors are exactly the same, except one has a plus and one has a minus. Because this is the case, we multiply the first terms together, 2x times 2x, to get 4x squared, and the last terms together, negative 6y times positive 6y, to get negative 36y squared. We are allowed to use this shortcut, because if we have a sum and a difference, the middle terms will always subtract out to 0, leaving us behind with just the first and the last. Anytime you recognize a sum and a difference, both factors being the same, but one with plus, one with minus, we can use this shortcut to quickly multiply the binomials.